Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Monster Train. Let's play the Stealthiest Bosses with Ninja Training, Stealth 5, Duality, which is actually makes it Stealth 10. Um, and we'll roll the Primordium Champion because I want to see the damage shield get doubled on this guy and then doubled when he gets gorged. We could also roll the Awoken with uh, Thorns, which will get doubled. Regen, which will get doubled, and this will just be like an extremely tanky unit. But I want to try the uh, Primordium because it's a new champion, and we'll just do random allied clan. Maybe not melting, but melting doesn't anti-synergize with the morsels anymore, so I think it's good. But I think this could be pretty damn good of a run. And you know what? Patient Seraph is the perfect Seraph to have damage shield for. So Arcus, Daedalus, Seraph, Melee Weakness, Rally, Incant, Immortal Trade, which is Lifesteal 6, which is Lifesteal 12 when doubled, what? Consume, discard, this seems very interesting. Minor bosses entering with stealth does not include major bosses, but it's still gonna be a very interesting run. Uh, magic power is fine, but your pyre getting plus 15 attack could save you a lot of damage, especially early. Primordium, Buffet, buffet is doubled. <laughs> what? Buffet is doubled. Okay, so do, do we want 10, H, 10 damage or buffet 10? I think we just want the damage. These units are gonna scale just out of control now. It's not a bug, because buffet is a status effect and it's getting doubled, <laughs> I think. I don't think it's a bug, although, no yeah, because status effects are not buffs and debuffs. Status effects include things like burnout and uh, the yellow modifiers like multi-strike. So this is actually, this makes perfect sense, honestly. I kind of hate it because it's so damn impressive, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to draw a great drain steward and we're going to just have this guy gorge. Have fun, drain steward. Days is doubled, so you know what? There's still days for a turn, we have to plank. Good to keep that in mind. Apply lifesteal too! Dude, this challenge is wonderful. Duality is amazing. How come I never realized this before? Also, we got garbage in our deck. <laughs> I was not really paying attention to what type of a deck we have. It's actually trash. We'll deal with it though. You know what, you got a plank. Oh my god. Yeah, if we can find a way of applying multi-strike, we'll be like invincible. Uh, you're taking one damage. I don't really care about you taking one damage. I don't want to play a mortal trade. I think I will play a train steward though. You're gonna take a lot of damage, but maybe we can keep you alive with some lifesteal later. Yeah, buffet is, is, it's a status effect, it's yellow. Buffs and debuffs are green and red, but status effects include buffs and debuffs. So it's, it's all working kind of as expected, I feel. You need to live for a turn so you can heal. Unfortunately, I don't think we can keep you alive. Oh, we can. There you go. You have stealth nine. Oh, you're gonna kill me. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh, no. Yep, 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 yep. I forgot you're a minor boss. We're actually gonna die immediately. No, we lived. Thank you. Boon of the Blacksmith. <laughs> we needed more HP, but we had no HP. So this will be doubled. We're gonna take Prismal Dust. We, it would have helped us significantly. Uh, Encant Frostbite 4, Frostbite 16? Give me the Frostbite 16. A targeted spell would be nice. And then the Crucible Ward. It's literally the unit that pogs us out of control. And honestly, I don't even know if we want more units, but I'm gonna upgrade this guy. We want him to have like multi-strike. Gain fuel two, multi-strike two. 
Absolutely, I'll take an alloy construct. Why not? Large stone. All right. All right. These are like amazingly good upgrades. <laughs> I think stealth requires you to play Awoken to a fair degree. Spikes stack insane. That is true, however. Oh, I can't do this because we'll die. Yeah, we have to say no to the trial. However, we do have insane damage shield on our minions, so it might be okay. You are spikes. Um, I could just let the alloyed construct gorge here, but we really do want the damage shield. It's gonna get damage shield four, ev or sorry, to every gorge, which is extremely important. There's no capacity here for you. All right, well, we'll play the, play him there. We'll play you at the top. <laughs> God, I screwed it up, but that's okay. Uh, you are still dazed, so we're gonna kill you with this. Everything is dying on this floor at least, but we definitely screwed that up miserably. I think we'll still be okay though. Well, I mean, it really depends on what boss we end up fighting, because I, I screwed it up so unbelievably poorly. You need to have damage shield. You can have some attack. Um, actually, can't even play you. Yeah, I think we, I think I screwed it slightly. Well, actually, damage shield six saves us a lot here. Oh, but do I play it? for damage shield four. I think we play it for damage shield four. I really want to hit the unit in the back, but if we can get a plink, we can kill him. We can kill him. There we go. And then uh, damage shield two. So that's damage shield four on you. I think we'll be fine. We're doing no damage here, but this guy also has no more stealth. So now he's dead. Perfect. Also, you have some lifesteal. Bum, bum, bum. Dude, we need to heal though. <laughs> Apply damage shield. All right, I'll take another prismal dust. I'll take another flash freeze. Frostbite 16 is not worth snubbing your nose at, you know? We have to heal. Do we? We don't have to heal, but I would like to search for like a multi strike and put something on the alloyed construct. We should heal. I really don't want this run to be over, even though I think we have like a great synergy here, essentially. Damage shield six. I could just let you start with six damage shield. I think I would rather just have you have more health to act as like a pseudo tank. And then we could also put damage shield six on like a train steward or something, but um, I think we'll just leave. Because I really want multi-strike on, on the gorge man. Copy a card, copy a card five times. I don't know, do you copy Prismal Dust five times? No. Do you copy it once? Maybe. Could copy the Alloyed Construct, but I think we'll just go for like a uh, another Prismal Dust, because it's double damage shield. It's pretty good. Also, you don't have stealth. You're just a normal boss fight. Only the minor boss fights are going to be more difficult here, and then every other fight, duality is a bonus for us, so, <laughs> you know, we're kind of pogging out of control. we love to see it. We can't kill all of you, so let's play these here, and then give you a Prismal Dust. And for Robot, we'll have a couple of Morsels out. Could Prismal Retrieval get upgraded here? or gilded. Yeah, probably. Honestly, that is probably just because it is a card that I started with, essentially. <laughs> do you have fuel? You do. You know, I really don't want you to hit me. I really don't want you to ruin my damage shield either, so kill you. Um, give you some more fuel. Put a couple of train stewards out. I gotta get rid of them at some point. I still don't understand what this kind of champion does. He gets eaten, and then he buffs this unit with the stats from when he gets eaten. So, that's what he does. He's pretty cool. You're a haste, but we gotcha. 
Um, you should have what, life steal, day morsels, and this and this. We need multi strike on this unit though, so he can actually do more damage, or just more attack on the alloyed construct, because we're gonna need the alloyed construct to do stuff, to do damage. Let's just give you eight damage shield. <laughs> That's pretty good. And then, uh, I don't know, I'll give you Frostbite 16. I mean, I really should play the Train Steward. Sorry I'm old, I don't know what Pog and Pogging means, lol, something good, I take it. Definitely something good. You did do 95 damage per hit. This is a challenge run, Dare Nunu, stealthiest bosses. Trample is amazing, we, we need it. We don't need lifesteal. We don't need incant draw one. It'll help to get through the deck faster, but I, I don't think we need it. The morsel maker would be really good. Summoning more, morsel, more morsels for the crucible man. I actually really like that. Or the fuel man, one of the two. And we don't need energy. Although it would apply more damage shield, we don't really need draw, we don't really need capacity. Um, I suppose I will take the energy though, because we can always play either the robot or the damage shield minion on the top or the middle floor. I don't think it really matters which. Uh, left or right path. I kind of like an artifact and card removal. Three damage to the rear enemy unit when a unit is eaten. When you play your 20th morsel, we're never going to play 20 morsels. I'll take Teeth of Gold. We'll remove two train stewards. Also, the energy does make Prismal Dust better, and we have a couple of two cost cards. Revenge Frostbite, six. You're just a good one off. Buffet, 10, or Buffet, six, 23. I still want to put multi strike on our our tanky unit, but for now I think it's okay. You have a lot of health. I'm scared because multi strike means that that plus twenty is plus forty, but multi strike would actually be double multi strike, so it would be plus sixty. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty freaking freaking amazing. So you're gonna get played there. You're gonna get played there. Plink is never gonna get a kill. It's, what? It's armor 30. I guess armor is a uh, status effect. I had no idea. Makes sense, I guess. Um, so you're both living. You're gonna not get fuel next turn? That blows. You do have a morsel maker. You're still not gonna get fuel though. I'm gonna have to use a flash freeze. Might as well at least kill you. Yeah, him being dazed is, is very annoying without getting morsels. We don't have morsel generation in the deck, unfortunately. Oh, this is this is looking very scary. Very, very scary. We really need fuel for the robot. You need to play Flash Freeze. You're both dead. You don't matter. You have 124 armor! Oh my lord! That's a lot of armor. We'll give you Trample. We'll give you Damage Shield. I could put, by the way, yes, I could put the, uh, you don't have any fuel anymore. I could have put the um, Morsel Maker up here, but he's dazed for one turn, so we wouldn't have gotten the we would not have gotten the morsels immediately. I don't think we're gonna die, but this was definitely not a great fight for us. We need multi-strike on this guy. That's really what we need. I would love to play him at the top as well, but he'll get two days up there. Grovel is morsels, so I'll take it. It's also damage shield too. Um, we don't need any of this. Spike of the Stygian could be good, but it doesn't get doubled, weirdly enough. Actually, it might get doubled. I don't know. 
you think that would account for itself on the card. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go straight for the unit upgrades. Multi-strike saves us so much time and effort killing things. I mean, a double large stone is, is dumb, but we'll just large stone the Titan Sentry. And honestly, we can make him a little bit stronger. Endless is not what we're looking for. I really wish we put that on the Titan Sentry, but I think it'll be okay. <laughs> not what we're looking for, and now I'm a little bit scared. A little bit scared, because our damage output is a little on the low side. We might want to just put our um, multi-strike. I mean, it's actually not that bad for us. Although it's going to be multi-strike two, so you're going to do four, eight, 16, sorry, four, eight, 12 damage. No, thank you. <laughs> we, yeah, we might want to put Primordium on a floor, the floor that has the, the robot is what I'm, I'm thinking here. You're dead, you're taking 32 damage. Love to see it. It's like if we put... Ah, but we really do need the damage shield to protect us from... Stealth. So I'm, I am gonna play you like this. I, I hope that having the Frostbite out it gives us kind of enough offense. And we'll start wearing down your days. You're already dead. We're gonna put the Frostbite on you. If we can get these Frostbite cards faster, I think that'll be wonderful. Our, our champion died, oh my god. <laughs> that blows. So I'm gonna have to put Morsels on this guy and damage shield manually, it's fine. But yeah, unfortunately our champion did not fare too well. So you can take some damage shield. You sweep, so you might as well eat the morsels, then you can attack next turn. You're gonna start summoning morsels after this turn. Actually, I think the morsels may have died. Oh well. We gotta upgrade these planks though. That would help a lot. Uh, you're not dead. You're still not dead. 13. You have 25 HP exactly? I think you're just gonna hit the pyre once and there's nothing I can do about it. No, no, I can kill you. It Prismal Dust on the Morsel kills you. <laughs> I'll, I'll spend the energy, I don't care. Oh my god, multi-strike times two. You do 45 damage a turn and stealth 10, we're dead. What? Well, we better stack up the Frostbite. You do have 75 Frostbite, but you are just an absurd unit right now. Excuse me? You're taking 179. Uh, I don't know what to do. Because nothing I can do can actually kill you. You have six Frostbite, and if you hit my Pyre once, we'll die. However, eight damage shield, gets you one turn away from dying, we will live. <laughs> yeah, damn it, this guy destroys my damage shield, but we killed him with frostbite, thank God for that. I'll take a cannibalize. I kinda wanna take an ice storm and then upgrade that as like a massive damage dealing card so that we can just use that while we get buffed on our big units. But I really need to heal and maybe try to get the multi-strike. <laughs> so we're gonna heal, we're gonna look for multi-strike. We got another large stone, which is insane. I don't know, Morsel Maker? No, we can't, we can't afford it. No, we can, with the alloyed construct. We shouldn't, but we could. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Give you a 510. Give you like a, you know, damage shield three. Then reroll. Multi strike. Endless! I'm thinking about just giving you plus 10 attack. 
You know what? I'm just gonna give you a plus 10 attack. I can't keep going to unit upgrade shops. At some point, I gotta upgrade spells. It's a major boss. He should be very easy. Large stone is just like everywhere. This is the largest stone run I've ever had. Apply days two to your units. No, thank you. I'm gonna play you at the bottom just so I can get stuff done. You can go here. You can get, oh God, you can get hit by that. We might just not wanna play on the top floor, especially if it's gonna be so daisy. They're taking 93 damage, love to see it. I really wanted to play you, but we'll play you later. You can just get played at the top, I suppose. Uh, why are two units dying? That is weird. What? <laughs> How, what? How are you living? You're in the middle. 85, 20. Oh, you're getting hit by Teeth of Gold. I understand. One Frozen Lance will kill the unit, though. No, you have Tramp, you have Trample, not you. All right, that was dumb. What we're gonna do instead is just give you damage shield. Would playing the Morsel Champ on the Morsel Duplicator work? Probably not. Too good to be true. Agreed. I was hoping. It's okay, we got a big robot. I'm lucky I got him out when I did, early. Let's go. It's not worth sacrificing anything, so take your damage shield. Get dazed for two turns. I'm surprised it was only two turns. Prism Retrieval is a good way to get your guy back. I mean, I suppose. Ah, oh, you know what, that's true. The only unit left is that guy, so we can play it for one and draw him for zero. Or just stack up more damage shield, <laughs> which I'm gonna do. We have 16 damage shield now. Uh, sorry, 18 damage shield now. Oh, sorry, 19, 20, 21, 22 plus lifesteal. All right, that's pretty good. All right. You're dead. There you go. So the robot was doing 150. That's not enough. I really want multi-strike on this guy, but you know, we, we hit, pulled the trigger on that and removed multi-strike as an option. We gotta upgrade spells. We just have to go spell upgrades here. I think I will go <laughs> I think we will go capacity to make sure we can play things where we want to play them. Jintai in chat is correct. I suppose we could play the champion on the alloy construct, but I really like the idea of the damage shield from the champion being applied to the Crucible Collector, but I suppose two morsels from the Morsel Maker makes up for the damage shield from our champion. Wait, we don't have damage shield on the champion. We just have attack. Yeah, we should really put that on the Alloy Construct, huh? I suppose if we can make it work, we'll do it. It is something very much I should consider. Holdover. Holdover Ice Storm. Yeah, Holdover Ice Storm, and we'll look for plus 10 magic power. A holdover Grovel is also real nice. We'll have the capacity to play it. Um, ancient Synergy for two. Flash Freeze for free. 16 Frostbite plus three damage, that's pretty good. I think we can just hold over with Ancient Synergy and we'll be happy with that. It's a lot of damage. And then we'll make a good Plink finally. We'll reroll. Remove Consume. Uh, we don't really care about removing Consume. We'll make another good Plink. 
make something cheaper. Well, I don't know, flash freezes are real good. Split anvil when, that'd be good. Yeah, so let's just make this Primordium the buffet unit for the robot. Cause then the robot with the multi-strike, we don't need, I guess we don't need to put multi-strike on the tank, the tank can just tank. We can put multi-strike on the robot to get him balling out of control. <laughs> I suppose that does make sense, doesn't it? Let's remove a plink and let's remove a frozen lance. No superfood at all? I actually don't mind that because I don't want to play it on the top floor and apply the daze to my minions. Uh, armor 20, which is actually armor 40. I don't think that's gonna matter if we play with the robot in mind now. Yeah, it's a lot of damage on the robot every time he eats, and he eats six times. So, like, we could just put him here, and then next turn he'll do 65 times three, which is not enough to get kills, but we can also just do a lot of damage with the Ancient Synergy. These guys do a lot of damage, but we might be able to kill them with Ancient Synergy. Or even with Grovel, like apply damage shield too to break some of this, but I think we should we should play the holdover. This will get two kills, which is decent. You know what? We could just no no no. We need we need to save the morsel. Make oh, oh I got it, dude! I got it. We'll play Crucible Warden. And then we'll play Prism Retrieval to bring back the Titan Sentry, because we need to remove the stealth from the boss. So we'll, we won't play the Morsel Maker. Instead, we'll make sure we apply Damage Shield to you. We'll end turn. We'll play the Crucible Warden. You have 15 times three. You're dead. That'll change. You're taking 42 damage. You have 240 armor? Excuse me? We actually cannot keep you alive. You're exactly on lethal even with this. So, <laughs> play this, play this, see what we can do. You're getting hit hard. Um, we really do need damage shield to, to keep you going. We got it. I really don't want you to do 45 damage to the pyre. Uh, this will kill you. This will this will not kill you. We gotta play this. One, two, three, four. We gotta play six to keep you going. Luckily this is free. Now you're not hitting the pyre. Dude, this blows. GT Quirk, thank you for the resub. For 11 months in a row, for 14 months total, thank you. Dude, the me the multi-strike is murdering me. I, I don't know how to handle this. I can't keep my units alive. They're dead, they're dying. They're dying out here, man. Like how? <laughs> 15, 30, 45, 90, 100. 110, we, there's 110 damage coming out. Luckily the damage shield is enough, I'm just realizing. But damn. I don't know how I'm gonna kill them up here. Um, we're on lethal right now. That's 90 damage. Okay, you know, fair enough. The, uh, the multi-strike enemies are the worst, I'm realizing, because they attack hard. I don't know what we could have done to stop them without having better spells. We could have, should have, would have played the uh, Frostbite unit at the bottom, but he still would have died extremely quickly. That was a fast run. <laughs> um, but yeah, those guys suck. I, um, we gave them armor. We should not have given them armor. I keep forgetting that the armor gets doubled. We gotta not give them that armor because that's not armor 20, that's armor 40. And I kept forgetting about that when we did it. So that that absolutely killed us. We could have killed the minions had they not had the armor. So the armor 40 was what destroyed us on that one. Um, I'm kind of interested in just doing that run again though, immediately. 
Like, just jumping back into the run and saying, hey, you know what? It failed the first time. Let's do it again. And I, I really did like Stygian. Um, and I'll even keep the Frozen Lances, too. Yeah, let's just do it again. Roz, you have a good night. Thanks for being here. Okay. <laughs> Damage Shield 4 is pretty good, but it's a horrible card. I like Prismal Dust still, and we got Patient Seraph once again, so all we need is uh, the same type of units we had last time, a good robot. 40 health or 15 armor? I'll take the health. You did say that as armor 40 before accepting it. Yeah, but in my head, I didn't think of it. So I don't think we need superfood. Yeah, it's 60 HP, but it's also more status effects that'll hit our our unit. I want the damage, I think. Ah, but the health is real good. What do you take? What do you take? Superfood cannot be played on the top floor. Give me the, give me the, give me the, give me the HP. Give me the HP. Maybe we can get lucky and split HP and health. Enemy units appear on each floor. We have spells. We can kill them. I hate the big guy being in front because I went for HP instead of attack, but if our pirate takes a little bit of damage, we have 80 health. We can survive it. And if we have any frozen lances, these guys are dead. So we'll play one. We'll play one. You got to be played down here, which means you're already dead. So, you know, love to see it. I guess we'll just play you at the bottom. <laughs> That's the best place for you, unfortunately. Why are these, oh, cause they have more rage. Oh, I hate these freaking units, dude. <laughs> I was like, why did you do seven damage to me? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it kind of does make sense. You should take some damage shield. You're gonna need it, son. You can take that. I really don't want you to get a damage deal, so I'm not gonna play Morsels. Man, you gotta hit hard. Okay, can't really play anything, so. You know what, we can just play one of those. I think we'll kill the boss, and we're not gonna take too much damage out of this. Yeah, you're dead. It's not that bad. I mean, technically, it's better than we did last time. <laughs> I would like morsels. Making a morsel is good, too. But let's just take packed morsels for quantity. Uh, we'll take a offering token. Maybe we'll get some incant going on. Probably not, because incant is not actually... Well, depends on the unit, but incant usually is not duality-focused. We'll definitely go umber units. Gorge, restore 10 health, deal 10 damage to enemy units. This is not good, but a morsel maker is okay. And I'll be honest, I kind of just feel like buffing the morsel maker just so we have something to play. You know, like it's not a great unit, but we can play it with the Primordium and just have a tank that's out there. And you know, against the high priest, that's actually, yeah, the high priest up too light. It actually doesn't seem that bad. Can't play your champ on the top of superfood. Yeah, because it'll be uh, just feeding the stun to the friendly unit up there. But yeah, with Primordium, I think we'll be okay. Good blink. You have 50 armor. I always forget that. That sucks. So you're going to go out. You're going to go out. You're going to go out. We can't even kill the gold collector at the top because of the fact that... Um, Oh, damn, I spell weakness to you. Uh, because of the fact that a unit will be stunned for two turns up there. <laughs> kind of blows. We're not gonna play Void Shield. Let's just play the... Uh, play that, play this. We actually managed to keep Morsels alive there, which is a little bit ridiculous. Flink. We're taking less damage. You are doing eight damage to the Pyre. I'd like to try to make you only do six damage to the pyre. 
Because I don't think we're gonna kill you necessarily. I mean, actually, we will. There you go. You have 14 damage shield. <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. You can get very strong, but so can the enemies. We gotta be careful. Very, very careful. Jesus. 10 turns of stealth, my god. Kill support units. Titan's Tooth Frostbite 20 is amazing. Hallowed Construct is exactly what we want. Now we just want, I think, floor capacity as our first upgrade, and then everything can just go out. Like, everything's good. So let's start upgrading units. Uh, even a Shadow Eater could be okay, but the enemies, oh, punch my microphone. I think the enemies do too much damage for Shadow Eater to really be too viable. And I'd rather draw other units, so I'm not gonna take him. Apply one X damage shield, which is two X damage shield, or four X damage shield minus one. Well, no, it's two X damage shield minus one. I don't know, how about a Titan's Tooth? Frostbite 40, it's way expensive though. How about damage shield 8, rage 24, ember drain 12? I like the idea of making this frostbite, or frozen rather. We'll make the uh, the plink get the plus 10. We'll make the titan's offering cheaper. Uh, we could reroll. I'm gonna reroll because we we want to upgrade things like the plink. And even upgrading the Titan's Tooth to be even cheaper would be acceptable. But I really don't mind making that uh, defense card frozen and then we can just keep it in the deck forever. Keep it in our hand and then just play it when we need to. I would like another Titan's Tooth. I might even put a couple in the deck. No, just give me one more. Having two of those is pretty good. GT Quirk says, I'm doing okay, have been driving a lot, about three hours a day. This week, probably another three hour trip. Sunday, Wednesday, Monday too. That is a lot of driving. A lot of time with an audiobook. Or a, you know, a lovely little podcast. Can find yourself a nice comedy based podcast. Have some fun with your drive. Okay, you've gotta go out, you've gotta go out. Unfortunate. You blow up though? You can blow up my train steward, I don't care. I don't want to die! I screwed it up! Well, we can buff a train steward. I really don't think you buff the train steward. I think you, uh... Jesus, maybe just play Primordium at the top, even though it'll apply days in a couple of turns. Like, oh no! Don't play anything else. I think we just stall a little bit, because I screwed it up. Quirk says, oh heck no, it's about singing in the car at the top of my lungs. I do the same thing. We can survive the units as they make it up. Let's start pogging you slightly. I don't mind if you hit the pyre. I, I gotta like rethink how we're gonna handle this. I think we're gonna play Titan's Tooth here. We'll just do some damage here. I like the damage on the boss. You know, I, I suppose there's another thing you could do here. You know how we had that one daily challenge where we were able to kill the boss in like one turn with Titan's Tooths? Maybe you could just do the same thing here. Just ignore the fact that the enemies have stealth, just rock double frostbite and everything. That seems like it could be kind of cool. I'd like to put morsels on you. You can just go there. Are you still dazed? You being dazed is not the end of the world if we can wait until we play uh, another unit, but honestly, if you get buffed, I think we'll be okay. You guys are gonna probably make it to the pyre. Play you there. Play you there. Really should not have played you there, but that's okay. Um, just play another train steward, I guess. 
It's not going too badly. You know, we're gonna take some pyre damage because of the misplay of energy earlier, but I think we're gonna kill Daedalus because we have 37 Frostbite on him already. It's gotta be done like this, unfortunately. Okay, the daze has run out. I don't think we're gonna draw the unit we want. It could happen, but it's probably not gonna happen. You guys are dead. And Umbra Assault can get a kill. I think we'll do it. We have a lot of energy on this turn. We'll give you, you already have a bunch of damage shield. Does this give you raw attack? And you know what, you can also have the life steal. Go ahead. Yep. At least now the daze is worn out. Oh, there's the alloyed construct. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, okay, I was like, where did my unit go? He died. Well, yeah, he ran out of gorging. Shroud mitosis. Trigger feeding on a morsel unit X times. I have to see if this works on Primordium. I have to. Gain damage shield two, apply frostbite six, and can't gain armor six. That's kind of cool. I think a Crucible Warden for the damage shield is still good. We, we need to upgrade units though. It's kind of the opposite problem we had last time. We need to upgrade units so that we can actually get better value out of them. So I'm gonna go left here for card removal and upgrading. We have no cash, so, you know, we'll just upgrade however we can, which is plus 10 damage on the construct, I suppose. Um, okay, that is not a lot of money. I should have thought about this. We'll remove train stewards, at least. I would love plus 10 attack now. We will get it. We could also get the damage shield and go super damage shield, but I actually like the idea of buffing the uh, the robot with 10-10. Restore health when they move up a floor. Clipped guardians can get killed? If we get the robot fast enough. If not, we can... We have to get the robot in order to kill them. And we're gonna get the robot pretty quickly. I just hope we get it fast enough. Oh, we can't like, no, I'm gonna turn this off. It's not like we have trample that we can apply. I know the damage shield is damage shield eight on feed, but I still like the attack more, I think. So Primordium, I think we're just gonna buff Crucible Warden. You have a hundred, you have 50 armor bonus. I hate you guys so much, I hate you. And of course I can't play the Morsel Maker at the same turn. I have screwed this up. Something fierce, I feel. But for the time being, we can just maybe buff up the bottom floor, kill units with spells and uh, and whatnot. It doesn't work on Morsel units. Hold on, I have a, I have a problem. There's a card. Umbra, spell, rare? Return eaten units, it doesn't say return morsels. Never mind. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> I was gonna complain in hindsight. Makes sense. We gotta find some way of killing these guys though. We'll kill you. I don't know, we kinda might as well unpack some morsels here. Do damage, do damage, do damage, do damage, don't do damage. We have so much garbage in our hand. It's okay, you know, our pyre has a lot of health. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I'd rather try to kill this guy, it did work. So do damage. I should give you some of these morsels, I'm realizing. <laughs> that would probably certainly be better. Um, that does nothing to you. That does something to you, but I'd rather just save the pyre damage. Uh, 
Thank God for the Titans, dude. That's all I'm gonna say. Wait, Titan. Damage shield. Hi, hi, hello, welcome. I have a bone to pick with you, Mr. Clancy. Well, I'm sorry already. <laughs> Plus one capacity, sacrifice, Ember Cash. Nah. Apply Days to discard. Sap four. Apply Frostbite 12 to enemy units. Kind of like just Days two. That's a great card, I think. It could discard the frozen card that we haven't even made frozen yet, but I don't know, in theory it seems okay. Uh, spells, I would like to upgrade spells, actually. We have some spells that could be used for upgrading. Double stack, I mean double stack. Frenzied Swarm for four days seems lovely. And then magic power and consume on a, on a plink. And then I will re-roll just to make another plank good. And then I will make something cheaper, not this. And Dumber Assault, if we upgrade it, it being free is okay. I think. It's not like we have anything else to spend the money on, except for maybe uh, getting an artifact from this for cash instead of HP. Draw X and apply minus two to those cards. So I have a feeling that Sap and Frostbite will both be doubled. So let's take it. Instead of the card draw. Days four does burn through stealth quite nicely. I think mostly it's just for the enemies because we're having a problem killing enemies because we're not upgrading our units because of the fact that we are not, no, 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 multi-strike. Because <laughs> of the fact that we are not doing as much damage because we're, I'm playing a little bit fast and loose with some of my cards. Like really here, I need to put Alloyed Construct Primordium. That's a winning combination that needs to be played. Now you do hit three times, but you have the damage shields. You're gonna go at the bottom. You suck right now, but you'll be better. I swear. So you're gonna go out. You have damage shield six. I kinda wanna put you in the front, but you're gonna go in the back for now. And then we will just Titan's Tooth to kill you and you'll be dead-ish. You're living. And then all we need is damage shield on you and then you'll be fine. I just need you to survive this turn. Which you, you cannot, no you can do, but I do have to play a plank and get a kill. And then put the morsel in the front. Now you're okay. You're gonna make it to the pyre. No, you're not. You're already dead. We'll hit you. Give you some life steal so you can heal up. You have no damage shield, but you do do a lot of damage. I guess it, I guess this is what we want because we don't care about your damage. We just need you to remove the, the, uh... sure. We just need you to remove the stealth. Four. You need more damage shield. I just, Fi High says, I just want you to know, Abe Clancy, how can you be playing video games and be so blind? In your latest Gungeon video in the Oubliette, you were looking for the secret room and you even cracked the wall and you just missed it. Really bugged me. I'm also disappointed in chat for also not telling you. LMAO, glad to get that off my chest. You know what? You're not wrong. I apologize. I put myself on the altar of the Gungeon. Although, Fi Hai, if you have missed today's Gungeon run, you should really take a look at it. It might be the best run I've ever had of Gungeon. I swear to God. <laughs> it is incredible. By the way, um, we're gonna obliterate the boss. There we go. I'll give you a damage shield. I'll give you a morsel. Yeah, we're gonna obliterate this boss probably with the bottom floor. Nope, you're another multi-strike unit. God, you suck. Are we dead again due to this effing crappy harpy? Why are we getting this harpy every turn? Or every fight, rather. 
I mean, here you go. There's six damage shield. Have more damage shield. Have more damage shield. And I don't know, you go up there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Okay, if we can apply days, Lord, you're dead! We've done it! <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're not killing me two runs in a row. No, 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 no. You and your 45 damage BS can go to hell. Dude, we gotta make this card frozen at some point. I don't want a second one. I want to make this one upgraded and, and then duplicate it. But we need to apply freeze to it. Because it's damage shield 8, rage 24. Dun 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 dun. Silence? Dude, silence is very good against the Seraph. Hope everyone's doing okay, says Fi Hi. I, uh, I think everyone's doing pretty well. But I also hope everyone is doing lovely. As always. Split Anvil. Damage shield two to the first friendly unit summoned each turn. Just damage shield four. Or split anvil. We don't really have expensive spells. Except X costers. I feel like the damage shield is better just for survivability's sake. We have some money. And we have a multi-strike, which is gonna go on. I think we I think it's gonna go on Crucible Warden, who is now a replacement for the construct, and they have damage shield. That's insanely good. Cause we can kind of pick and choose which one we want, but the damage shield unit is better than the robot now because of the fact that they're survivable. Before I watch the VOD, let me go just guess. He either got Cormoran or, or finished the Beholster Shrine. Chat says good guesses, but you have to watch and see. Or it just broke the living shit out of the game. Good guesses, you should watch and see. Um, okay, not what we're looking for as far as units go right now. Um, I think we will... I think we'll play the robot at the top and we'll play you here and we'll give you some spell weakness and we'll buff you I hate that the robots gonna be dazed but there's only two units making it up and I'm, I kind of sucks that we're not playing anything at the bottom but I think it's okay dump this I would love to daze fell. I don't know if dazing fell does much for us though. I don't know if it actually prevents fell from using their ability. I don't think it does. It prevents the attacking bosses from using their ability because they obviously don't attack, but I don't think it really does anything for us. At least we don't get the uh, bad cards from the dazes. Nah, we, yeah, we still have ultimate penance, but we have to play the construct. No, we don't, we don't. Units are gonna die as they move up. We can just play ultimate penance and then play like a, well, the plank's not gonna do anything. I don't know, I think we should just stop taking damage. We're gonna take one pyre damage. These units are gonna die as they move up. Yeah, this is fine. It's a VOD from earlier up already. It always goes up on Twitch. You can just literally go to my video page and it'll be there. It's not that it's up, it's that it just goes up automatically because that's how Twitch operates. Yeah, so this is double spike of the Stygian value, but I still think you wanna like plink for one. We get a morsel. I didn't play the robot. I was like, where did he go? Did he die? No, he's not dead. Just play a morsel here to keep you buffing. I thought it wouldn't be until after the stream finished says GT Quark. Nope, you can watch it whenever. Ah, we have to play Titan's Tooth down here. We gotta kill these units. Although we can play it here. I guess we gotta play it in both places. I guess we'll start here. It buys us more damage for the future turn. 
because we gorged in additional time, and we actually drew the second Titan's Tooth, which is just outstandingly great. We should have offering tokened it, though. Admittedly. You can gorge that. Um, Antumbra Assault can't even get a kill anymore because I screwed it up. But we got a good plink. And we managed to kill this guy who I wanted to kill anyway, so that's good. So yeah, we're just fine. We're just fine. Great Titans tooths, so we gotta make it exactly the right opportunity. You're already dead. Like, just save a damage shield. You're also dying. My champion. I mean, it's a good time for him to go. <laughs> uh, we don't need this anymore. You have 84 times three damage or whatever the hell it is, it's pretty good. There's a robot. Um, trigger feeding on a morsel. I could really buff you up, but you're already dead. I think we just daze you, so there you go. We need energy after this though. We need to be able to play the robot and the morsel maker. Watch it now on Twitch or wait two weeks apparently on YouTube. No, the Gungeon YouTube backlog is not that big. I like Trample. Ascend it. Okay, it's Pyre Bound, but Ascend enemy units and apply day six is amazing if you can make that holdover. But I'm gonna go for Trample. Abe could be playing the Morsels more defensively to protect the damage shield guy. Why? If I play the Morsels behind the damage shield guy, he gets two damage shield per morsel. I guess with the damage shield of the morsels, I could play the morsels in the front to damage shield up and then get, get gorge, but I'm not running the math. We didn't need to on that fight, to be honest. Um, I would like to upgrade units. We can't reroll, but if we get a good upgrade here, multi, multi strike four is insane. We're gonna buy it. He now does 100 damage immediately and he gets buffed significantly every turn. It's fantastic. Just don't give me multi-strike enemies, please. 20 attack or more damage shield? We don't need more damage shield on the champion. More attack would be more beneficial. So we can kill the enemies faster. The big problem is killing enemies. We have multi-strike five on this unit. They only do 10 damage each. This will be okay. And with Frenzied Swarm, we can daze all these guys, so we'll get hit by the pyre. Plink will get two kills. So I think we want to daze here and Plink here. Um, multi-strike two damage shield. It's the freaking multi-strike enemies again. How are we gonna do this? <sighs> we got a Plink at the bottom to kill these guys. I think we just got to play the Crucible Warden here, put damage shield on him and daze these guys. So it's gonna be like, Crucible Warden Primordium. It's gonna be a plink, just to get a kill on these multi-strikers. You're gonna go out. Discard your hand, or four damage shield. You're dead if we play. You're dead. No, we have to daze him and we'll live. Okay. We're doing fine. You suck, I would love to kill you. We have two plinks that we can play. God, your freaking damage is so insane. Honestly, I'm kind of of the opinion maybe that we just start morselizing here as much as possible. I'm like, what if we Energy siphon you and then play the good plink. That way if it misses, it still does damage. And I just I just wanted the morsel, honestly. And we got him. Nope, 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 nope. Actually. I'm gonna play you. I think we have enough damage shield now that we're outscaling the attack of this Shade Wing. And a Titan's Tooth is amazing here. We're gonna have to play it. 
I think we should also play Umbra for the trample. I think we should ice these units. I think we should kill you. I think we're gonna make it out of this fight due to having multi-strike five and just an insane amount of damage shield. Like, I'm, a I'm able to actually survive this, which is incredible. You might hit the pyre once. Let's see what we get out of offering token. Dude. Yoink! Love to see it. This floor is dead. Um, a spike will save the pyre from all damage. We have enough damage shield, let's be honest. We gotta just kill this guy. I'm gonna play it. Trigger feeding on a mor morsel unit eight times. Hundred and forty four times five damage. Yeah, that seems good to me. You also have thirty six damage shield, which is pretty good. Probably don't need void binding anymore, but you never know. Gotta save this card. Everything here is dying, thanks in no small part to the trample helping us out. Um That saves us a damage shield. End turn. Unnamed Tome cancels this guy. It also counters the uh, the boss pretty nicely, but we'll start here. By the way, Pog. You're gonna still have the days when you move up. You do six damage, you have nine stealth, but you're just absolutely destroyed anyways. You're dead, you're dead. Didn't even need the construct. Bum, bum, bum. And that was an easy, easy 400 gold. Damage shield two, add morsels. I kind of like it. Sometimes we need the damage shield to stay alive. Apply spell weakness four. Don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. Okay, we want... I think we want spell upgrades, but the unit upgrades would, might be better, especially if we can get, like, a large... No, you have two multi-strike. We can never apply large stone to you. Well, I mean, you're still pretty damn good. I could duplicate something. I mean, honestly, a doubled up morsel maker could be insane if we can get it all on the same floor as Crucible Warden. <laughs> um, even just having another one so we can play it with the alloyed construct might be okay. If we upgrade, we could upgrade the alloyed construct, but I don't think we need to. I think we just want spells. I think we also want card removal. We might upgrade the plank, so I don't think we're gonna remove it. We'll probably remove the frozen lances. These are basically worthless. Rally boss isn't too bad with how light you are. You know what, Bluxmer, you're right. I keep forgetting that they changed it so that it doesn't trigger on morsels. That being said, it also won't trigger on encant anymore. And also, I did want the silent card for the previous boss that we just fought, because it counters him completely. Either way, I'm okay. Encant, Morsel, Draw, Life Steal 2. Spells get an extra upgrade slot. Freeze a random card in hand. I don't think we're gonna have the money to upgrade spells again. Dude, damage shield four is lovely. Spike of the Stygian with a lot of upgrades is also good, but I like damage shield four. If I can hold it over, maybe I will go buy that thing, by the way, the, uh, the spells get an extra upgrade slot. But for now, we can just make this cost two again. Make a good plink. Reroll. If we do get hold over, you know what? We don't have the energy for it. We don't have Encant, so I don't think we need Offering Token. Umbra, oh, Ant Umbra Assault doesn't do enough damage. I don't think we need Holdover on anything. I really don't think we need it on anything. I'll make a good plank. I will make Umbra Stone cheaper. We'll remove some cards and we will duplicate a card as well. Ah, oh, dude, days four? It's phenomenal. 
So is Titan's Tooth. That's a great card. I really like Days 4, though. I like the Morsel Maker, too. To have a construct out, but... Once we, uh, once we buff our damage dealed unit, I don't think we're gonna need anything else. I do like freezing a card in hand to hold on to cards for when, when we need to play them to hopefully save ourselves some damage. Or remove like two or three cards. We have a lot of consume cards. In fact, most of our deck is consume. Let's remove cards so we thin out the deck as we, as we play. Maybe that's good enough. I think we'll be fine on the boss fight because as soon as we silence him, he's dead. Although we're gonna have double melee weakness now that I think about it. But that's what the damage shield is for. We should be fine. Dear Lord, people who missed the Gungeon run, I am so sorry, says Word Gurg. It was a good run. Um. Okay. You at the bottom is you dying, so let's not do that. Wow, all right. Um, not what I had in mind, admittedly. Uh, Jesus. You know, maybe we just play the robot up here, Primordium here, and we'll draw our unit next turn. We don't have the energy for everything. We gotta, we gotta pick and choose. One, two, three, four, five, if we play Morsel Maker Primordium, we won't have the capacity to play our big unit. If we put them at the top, they'll be dazed for three turns, which means one, we have to play spells to kill these guys, which is actually not that bad. Okay, we're gonna play Primordium Morsel Maker at the top. Should have played you in front. And I think that'll be okay. We just need a couple of spells to kill these units and we'll get them. And you're gonna be dazed for a few turns, but then that's it. You'll be back. You'll be okay. You're both dead. You're both dead. You're dead. Yeah, I know, you're getting strong, whatever. Okay. I mean, that was, I mean, that was, a, that was the turn I wanted and that's why I thought we could play at the top. <laughs> We're applying melee weakness to this unit. What? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna have infinite melee weakness, but he'll live. He'll live with the damage shield. I'm telling you, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Believe you me. That's very scary though. Like very, very scary. Uh, well, you should just do as much damage as possible then. You should be dazed for four turns. <laughs> How much damage shield does uh, Primordium have? Four? So I think that's applying eight damage shield per turn. So that should counteract the melee weakness, I hope. You're still dazed for two turns though? Like, why? Okay, you gotta get silenced. You're already super dazed. You're not really that much of a problem. I'd like to daze you for more, and I think I will. In fact, I think I'm just gonna do that, so. Seraph isn't applying daze. I don't know why we were dazed for so long. I didn't think that would be the case. We were, but we made it work. We'll, we dealt with it, I think. Uh, you're buffet two, so get more damage shield. So we'll get another 32 damage shield on the Crucible Warden. Okay, okay, good enough. You're all days. You're days for like six turns. You're super dead. What spells do we got coming up? A good plank will be playable on you. Let's just. I don't know, unpack some morsels, I suppose. Morsel, 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 morsel. Are you not dazed anymore? You have 17 melee weakness, but you're not dazed anymore. That seems like it's pretty good. 
You're still dazed for one turn, Morsel Maker. Why are you so dazed? I don't understand. <laughs> you should not have this much daze on you. What happened to you? Are you okay? Do you need help? By the way, Gorge. I suppose the health doesn't matter, but you apply more damage shield. Okay, okay. I like it. You're gonna start summoning units? I almost don't believe it. We have 80 damage shield, by the way. That's pretty good. You can get some fuel. Uh, we'll stack more damage shield and days on you, I suppose. Primordium gave him double two days on the first turn. You're right, because it's the two days, e actually even one days, one days will apply two days, that's how he got four days instead of two days. That's right, that's right. All the days is doubled even when it gets applied from Primordium to a unit. That makes duality extremely powerful with Primordium, which makes me glad that I took this unit because uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but I get it now, you are absolutely correct. I'm just gonna stack up the damage shield. We do have 94 damage shield, I think we'll be okay. We'd be okay even on a different Seraph, by the way, I think. Um, you know, this is actually better than that Grovel. Then we'll get a Titan's Tooth, no. Well, we don't need this. If we have a Morsel, we can just play the Morsel, then play 10 damage shield. You do 138 times five damage, and we're also gonna daze the crap out of everything. Well, no, we're just, well, yeah, we should just daze the crap out of everything. So, have damage shield eight, rage 24. Daze everything. I don't think we're even getting hit. Nope. Well, it worked. It took a couple of tries, but we didn't die to the 49 damage fifth floor boss. And uh, we had 100 damage shield at the end, so thank you, Duality. Good run. Good run and a challenge complete. And look at that, no no freaking uh, uh, the stuff in the middle. No, no trials. I thought about the trials and I said no. I can say no. I have the power. Anyways, oh, I don't want to see the credits, who cares? I hope it's not super loud. I hope they fixed that bug. <laughs> I think they did in the last update. Uh, good run, I suppose. Primordium with the status effects applied to the eater. Very good with duality because the status effects that get applied to Primordium are doubled and then they're doubled again when they're applied to another unit. So actually, now that I think about it, all the times I was playing um, damage shield on the Crucible Warden, I should have been playing damage shield on Primordium because it would have been doubled again applied to Crucible Warden. I only thought about it now. It took me this long. But yeah, all of those damage shield cards, the uh, Prismal Dusts, those should have been played on Primordium, 100%. I was probably doing it a lot during the run. My bad, still very fun. Uh, Crucible Warden with five multi-strike. Pretty freaking good. Thank you very much, Crucible Warden. You did a great job. You kicked ass. Large stone on you would have been okay. Last run, we had a lot of large stone. This run, just a lot of multi-strike, which is what we wanted initially. <laughs> but good damage, good uh, damage shield. Thank you, Duality. Ended up not being too bad. Still 10 on bosses, minor bosses does suck, but the major bosses are so much easier because it's just a normal fight with Duality, which is normally a buff. Well, unless you daze your champion, or you daze your uh, Crucible Warden for five turns accidentally. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Monster Train.